Whenever a person decides to get a new PC, the question of choosing the right processor for the build arises in his mind. Which CPU to choose, whether it's from Team Blue or Team Red? Since 2006, the computer industry has been dominated by Intel and that's why Intel is still known as the most reliable CPU manufacturer. Due to the high efficiency and performance, Intel has been leading the CPU market. But the competitors like AMD has never set back. The most recent AMD CPUs, the Ryzen family are outperforming Intel CPUs as well as reducing the need for an expensive graphics card. So, should you get a Ryzen for your next 2018 computer build? I'm Usni Ramal and here we're going to answer that in the 30th episode of Tech In-Depth Series. Stay tuned. So let's start with the fact that the Intel Core CPUs are really great. But there are some compromises as well which are not available in AMD Ryzen CPUs nowadays. Which make them an interesting choice. Intel CPUs are not good at integrated graphics. No doubt, HD graphics and UHD graphics are good options, but only they accelerate up to 1.5 GB in most cases and are pretty decent. But AMD Ryzen 3 and Ryzen 5 have better support for integrated graphics due to which they can accelerate their video memory even beyond that. The second reason is that they are budget friendly. The lower models of Ryzen, such as Ryzen 3, is nearly powerful as Core i5 and can surpass Core i3 and other small processors as well. And for the price of half of the Intel Core i5, it's not a bad choice. The third one is the ease of socket. With Intel CPUs, there are many different LGS sockets which makes the beginners confused and need some deep research before building a system. In case of AMD, there is currently only one socket that supports Ryzen CPU, the AM4 socket, which is present on almost every AMD capable motherboard nowadays. AMDs have been targeted as the overheating CPUs in the past but now the temperature management and cooling is also decent. So forget about the myth about overheating AMD CPUs. There are also some downsides though of getting an AMD CPU. Although Ryzen can catch up with Intel's performance, they are still slightly underpowered as compared to Intel. Also these CPUs are not Hackintosh friendly. Although I do not recommend building a Hackintoshes. But yet, just for sake of knowledge, they are not good choice for that. So to our conclusion, should you get an Intel or Ryzen? It just is more complicated than yes or no. If you are building a computer just for gaming and load bearing tasks and don't want to break the bank to get an expensive graphics card, Ryzen seems to have better options to offer. But if you want a stable and more productive focus system, you should stick with Intel. And that's for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss new tech related videos learning every week. Don't forget to follow us on social media. And as always, stay connected, my friends.